Okay, so I had a question come through about the strokes for the wheat. And I thought that I would go over with my nib here and show you um, some exercises that you can do. And this is a really good exercise that also helps you get to know what your nib can and can't do. So a lot of times when you get a new nib, you probably have an idea of how much flex you want that nib to have. Like maybe you've done some research or you've heard somebody say, you know, I get so much, you know, swells out of this nib and then you go and try it and then it doesn't happen, right? So it, that can be really frustrating. Um, this exercise is going to walk you through that process in a really controlled way. And, and I love doing it this way. So I'm using a Leonard Principle EF nib with a Moon Palace ink and I'm writing on hammer mill, uh, 32 pound paper. So what I want you to do is ink up and we're going to work on a pretty large scale, like not huge, but definitely larger than what you normally would do with a wheat. But we're gonna work on pulling towards your body and as you pull towards your body, I want you to start adding a little pressure and then more pressure and then release. So let me demonstrate that for you. Put some more ink on there. All right, so you're going to touch down. Let me just angle a little bit more here. All right, you're going to touch down on the paper. Get it started. Then as you pull towards you, I want you to start adding more and more pressure. Ready? Okay. And then lift up. Okay, one more time. Gradual pressure as far as the nib tines will go. And then pull up. One more time. Touch down. Slowly add pressure, full stroke, and then come through and pull up. Okay. So as you get more and more comfortable with adding pressure to your nib and you realize that nib is not going to snap on you, right? you're going to get longer and longer strokes like this. And this is just a really good exercise as even as a warm up. cleaner area here. Okay. So when you're doing this, make sure you breathe. Breathe in. And as you start breathing out, So that was the extent of my exhale. Okay, breathe in and out. So there is a difference between this stroke and this stroke. For me, this is where I am most comfortable at, as far as this nib is concerned. All right, so let me go ahead and show you again. So now that we've done that exercise, we're going to focus on the wheat. All right. The parts of the wheat, there are many different ways you can do it. And I want you to get creative so you don't just stick to the ones that I show you. 
um, but the most common one have this shape. So you pull, apply a little bit of pressure, spread the tines, and then pull up. It's really small. Touch down, spread the tines, and then pull up again. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Now this might change the way the video uh, looks, so just bear with me. Okay, again. Touch down, pull, spread, pull up. So go ahead and keep practicing that. Um, let me see if I can't do that without the ink. Let me just wipe my tying off here. All right, let me show you without the ink what it looks like to spread. Okay, all right. So for this one, the largest one, it looks like this. Okay. And then for this one right here, Make sure that I'm a little more straight to the camera here. For this one right here, it looks like this. All right. And then for the elongated one here, it looks like this. So depending on the paper that you use, <clears throat> you may find that going this slow will make fibers get caught in your nib. All you have to do is just pull them off. I don't have any fibers. I'm, I'm using the Hammer Mill 32 pound paper, which I love. It's very smooth. The nib doesn't catch. And then for these little guys, <clears throat> let me just show you what that looks like. So for this one, it looks like this. Just a very gentle spreading of the tines. This is a little larger, so let me demonstrate this one for you. It looks like this. Okay, so go ahead and practice without ink too, and just watch your tines. So when you touch down, my tine is already starting to spread. This nib is very flexible like that. So you see it's closed. I'm just gonna touch the paper. And when I touch the paper, do you see ever so slightly that nib opens up. So it doesn't really require a lot of pressure for me to get it like this and like this. That's just a little very gentle pressing back and forth. So practice that just to see how much pressure it requires just to open it up. Okay, and how light your hand needs to be gliding across the paper with, with no pressure. This is no pressure. I'm just simply letting the nib go across the paper. Now, if I rest my finger on this with some pressure, it already opens up. And you can see if I do that, that is not going to be a hairline. It's going to be much thicker. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.